Hi, this is Julie Feifan Balzer for Sakura of America, and today we're going to be talking about some specialty pens. We're going to be talking about the glaze and the souffle pens. So they come in packages like this in lots and lots of pretty colors. And the other important thing to notice is when you take the cap off these pens, there's going to be a little rubber ball at the tip of it when you first open them. This only happens once. And you just pull it off with your fingernail, and then you want to be sure to throw that away. You're not going to use it again. You're not going to put it on or anything like that, okay? It is important, however, to always put the caps back onto these pens. One of the reasons they put those balls on in the factory is to keep them nice and juicy. And now when you use this pen, you'll see it's not your usual pen. It looks like a ballpoint pen, but it really isn't, and you shouldn't push as hard as a ballpoint pen. Instead, this is a glaze pen I'm working with. It's a really juicy, almost paint-like pen. And here, I'm going to hold this up just so you can sort of see just how juicy and painty that is. Now, I have some samples over on this side that I want to talk about. The first is on white paper. You can see I've used the souffle pen and the glaze pen. And the souffle pen dries to a very dimensional matte finish and puffs up, kind of like a souffle, thus the name, where the glaze pen has a more uh, wet, embossed look. Now, this is completely dry, even though it looks slick and wet. On dark paper, you can see the souffle pen just absolutely pops straight out. Where the glaze pen is harder to see, it's more of a watermark look. And the most interesting thing is here's a piece of pattern paper, and you can see here I've used a souffle pen, and it has dried opaque. It completely covers that pattern that's underneath. Whereas on this side, I've used the glaze pen, and I've also just gone over the top of the pattern paper, and yet the glaze pen is translucent, and it looks wet, but that is completely dry, and you can still see the pattern through it. Another fun thing about the souffle pens is you can see here that I have just written on this binder clip. This is on here. It's permanent. I'm going to now use my fingernail. I cannot, you know what I mean, do anything bad to it. So let's get playing a little bit with these. Now, these do take a long time to dry, and after you've taken the tip off and they sat around for a while, you may need to start them again. And to start it, all I do is I just go in a random circle like you would to start any pen. I am not pushing hard. I'm using a light touch, and I'm trying to keep it up and down in a kind of 90 degree angle here. And you can see just how wet that is. Now, this is the souffle pen that I'm using here, and you can see these little dots look very wet and slick. And now I'm going to change to the glaze pen. And again, I'm going to get it started. And then I'm going to go right in here. And it's hard to tell the difference between the glaze and the souffle when they're wet. But once they dry, they really will change to either dimensional matte or dimensional shiny. So have fun, create things, enjoy these specialty pens.